My name's Flying Officer Del Merriman and I'm an ACO on the, uh, the F-111. Um, I've been doing it for about two and a half years now and uh, before that I was on the Hawk, uh, which is a fast jet trainer, and the uh, King Air 350 uh, down in East Sale and that's where I did all my initial training. Basically when I, I grew up I was uh, travelling a lot to Newcastle and, and spent a lot of holidays there and was exposed to the Hornets flying out of Williamtown. Um, and I saw that and was really intrigued by what they did and then it kind of got me into looking for a, a career in the Air Force. To do this job you don't need a degree and I was, I was keen to get in and, and do it straight away so I, I didn't, don't have a need to, to have a degree to do this so you don't need to be a, a superstar in that sense of it so it's, it's definitely great to have that avenue as well. Um, so basically our, our role um, in the F-111, in the domestic area it's more like a co-pilot, so backing up exactly what the, the pilot is doing uh, in the domestic terminal area. Um, it, heading into a, a threat environment, our role is to, to be looking out for threats and, and providing the pilot with any information that he needs to know while he's trying to keep the formation together and, and keep getting the jets through a high threat area. Um, our primary role is a weapons delivery uh, expert, so we're in there ensuring that we get the correct bombs on the correct target at the right time and, and making sure that we achieve the desired weapons effects to achieve it, essentially our, our mission outcome. So leading up into the target area we're using a radar which, which paints the ground and uh, basically I'm making sure the jet is flying exactly where it needs to to the exact point to drop the weapons on the correct target and then we're using the infrared sensor that looks like a, a black and white TV which gives me a picture of the ground and I'm using that to guide the weapons in so we, we fire a laser and that helps to, to guide the weapons in and, and that's primarily what I'm, I'm looking at in the target area. Five years ago I, I never thought that I'd be doing it and uh, when I was posted to the F-111 and was told that on our, our final final test on the sortie on our operational conversion course would be a night high explosive sortie, um, you know, dropping bombs for real, I was terrified and I thought I'll, I'll never get to that stage. But you trust the training and know everything that you do on, on your conversion course and up until that point that the guys instructing you are going to get you there. And when you actually, when we got to that point in the course, I had no doubt in my mind that I could do it. So, you know, looking such a far way in the distance you think that it's unachievable but um, the process that you go through and the training is so um, so technical and, and very intensive but it's you, you have faith in the system and know that you go at when you come out the other side you're going to be qualified and you're going to be quite capable to to jump in one of these and go and do exactly what you need to do it's uh, any day we get to go flying is a great day so it, it uh, and depending what we're doing there might be a bit more excitement than some other days but every time I walk I walk out to the flight line to the jet there's always always a bit of excitement and the adrenaline is what keeps us going so it's it's always very exciting and I always love seeing the jets take off and, and then realise that that's what I do and you know it's, it's a pretty cool job. So I'll be coming back at the end of the year to fly the Super Hornets here so it's a, it's a very exciting time for a lot of people because going from a, an F-111 which is really old technology, it's still very capable but it's older technology to moving into a Super Hornet that is incredibly capable and is uh, very, very technologically advanced and um, it's going to be a very, very big transition for myself and other people but it's definitely going to be a great experience to get onto a new jet. So on the weekends I'm Adele and I, I love spending time with family and friends and you know we spend a lot of time with the guys from work on weekends as well because we're all really great friends so um, going out playing sport, exercising and doing it every, all the normal things that that people do travel, um, there's nothing stopping us from doing that. The Air Force is a great place to work because of the opportunities that are given to you. So your opportunity to travel, um, we've been overseas all throughout Australia. Um, the, the highly motivated and dedicated and professional guys that I work with every day are, are a great a great bunch of people and you know look, before coming to this point I used to look at it and think you know wow what a what a great job and thought that it was unachievable but um, being exposed to it and given the opportunity that I've been given it's definitely something that that anybody can achieve as long as you've got the right motivation and and you really want to work hard to to achieve it so it's it's definitely a, a great job and I think one of the best jobs in the world. <laughs>